Okay, so um, um, we are going to study the uh, fundamental uh, programming um, techniques uh, for computer graphics with just this, just this example. So it's very simple. And I, well, I know that you have done similar um, work by plotting or changing all of the pixels inside this scene, this imaging. So I believe you are familiar with the, um, the detail imaging examples. But that's not what I want to teach today. Um, instead, um, you are going to study some um, some um, structure um, of real-time um, rendering system um, and some some keyboard input and some animation um, framework and some and something more. Okay, so. Um, Okay, so actually, um, this example project was um, a combination of these example uh, combination of the examples on in these websites. Okay, so you may um, try more examples on those pages. And okay, so um, and well, for this example, um, for this lecture. Um, um, I use uh, well. We are going to use GLFW, and I found this is enough um, library for you to study computer graphics. Well, okay, and you may find the GLFW window as you as you have seen in previous graphics examples, and here is one 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 thing new here. Right. This is a mathematics example. You studied how to make matrix class and vector class, right? And you know how to use them. Um, but I don't want to spend your time um, implementing such libraries again, again, again. Instead, well, I included um, GML library here, so you can use it in a simple way. I'll show you. So using namespace GLM uses um, allows for you to use GLM vectors, matrices um, without typing GLM um, many times. And and here's a, an important new thing. This is important. The shader. So many of you are interested in um, GPU. Well, maybe majorly. Um, because of deep learning or some other high-performance computing applications. And uh, why GPU is so fast comes from this shader stuff. Okay. So actually, I don't want to know the details of shader at this lecture. So it, it's not that important. But well, I hope you understand um, we can make use of shaders well, to uh, to take advantage of fast GPU computing. And, well, you can um, class that some shading languages here. So, um, um, there is a CPP file, main.cpp, this, actually this, it is this file. And, well, there are two more files. So, simple fragment shader, dot fragment shader. Well, this is not CPP. Well, um, HPP, HC, or some other Python or something. So this is this is a shader shader language, shader language. So and there is one more thing, vertex shader. So um, in general, computer graphics pipeline, um, we use two shaders: the vertex shader and fragment shader. So let's look at this shader code. Here. Okay, so um, this is very um, similar to C language. The main function is here, and there is a um, variable and some operator and constructor. And well, this is very uh, the shader language is very similar to C language. So um, in vertex shader, the input is defined here. The layer location zero in Vector 3. So, input is vector. 
the position, vertex position of model in, in model space. And what vertex shader does here is to, um, to, to calculate some matrix, this is a matrix, MVP matrix, uniform matri matrix for MVP, matrix vector multiplication. So um, um, from the beginning, GPU is optimized for matrix vector multiplication. GPU takes care of um, so many computations of uh, computations of well matrix and vector multiplications for so many vertices. Um, that's why we can use GPU for deep learning and some other um, high performance computing applications. Well, absolutely, well, it, it is very useful for computer games. And, and fragment shader generally takes care of um, the color of pixels. So in your previous examples, you determined your pixel color one by one, right, in C language. And if you use shader, well, you can determine pixel colors much faster than um, what you did in in CPU program. So in this example, well, the color vector 3 is red, green, blue, RGB. This is red color, so this means that um, all vertex color, uh, all colors are, um, all, all, all outputs are um, red colors. So you may try different color well, later. Okay, so um, I explained something about shader. And I, I, I'll show you um, something more later. Okay, so, and there are um, many, um, well, detailed options here, but I don't want to um, explain details about them. And, well, you can create window here. This, these are the resolutions, the width, height, and the title um, of the window. And if, GLU init is not okay. Well, this takes care of some error messages, so let's ignore it. And GRFW uh, sticky keys means, well, um, determines the key pressing options. Well, it takes care of um, input options. Okay, so um, let's, let me explain. Let me show you some simple structure. Load um, paint. Okay, so um, let's think about there is an interactive graphic system like game engine, game system, right? So we human play um, the game, right? So, um, <coughs> so, watch this. What do you think we can use um, to control the game? What do you use? Controller. controller. Which controller? Well, you, may, you, you mean some gamepad, gaming pad or keyboard, mouse, right? So, these are um, input devices for your computer and game system. And this is the output to the user or input to the user, right? So, well, in most cases, we use visual, the images, the graphics, and audio, the sound effect, right? And, well, if you, um, well, if you are interested in virtual reality, then you may um, consider some haptic devices with your hands or skin um, senses or something else. <laughs> Said, well, in this lecture, well, I'll show you how to use visual and keyboard input only. And well, you may, if you are more, if you have, have much more interest in this topic, then you can keep working on it, okay? Um, and for audio stuff, um, well, I'm not going to the audio today. Well, it's too much work for one week. Um, but if you are interested in, sound control or something, 
then you may check my Google um, GitHub here SDR mixer test F, um, yeah, this one has an example with playing wave files sound player I well, I made a, I implemented a wrapper for you to understand in in uh, understand the sound player in an easy way. So if you are more interested in generating sound with your application, then you may well look at this open source, or you can Google more or better um, sound libraries for yourself. Okay, so. This is an option for input device, the keyboard option, right? So you may, well, Google for more options here. And, well, this option um, determines the background color. So one, one, one um, is white color. So white, col white background color. And, well, this is required for um, um, to 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 generate vertex array in in GPU or CPU buffer, so right, let's just keep it. And this is this is this is a program ID and load shaders function um, reads reads these these shader files and and compiles those files and returns on pointer of those functions. So the type of program ID or vertex array ID are jerry integer. Th this is just an integer, jerry integer, unsigned maybe? Uh, yeah, unsigned integer. And you may consider you may consider them as pointers to GPU memory or something. Well something similar to GPU memory address. Okay? So you studied pointers for memory array, and you you studied pointers for uh, function pointers. So you may consider this as a function pointer to shader program, which works in GPU with GPU memory. And you may consider this as a pointer to GPU memory. Okay, so um, in this example, um, we are drawing one triangle and one square. We are drawing one triangle and one square. And, well, in your previous example, you had to draw one, a lot, to draw a set of points to draw one line, like this. You did this for, on homework, right? But, um, with computer graphics API, you don't need to draw all points for all applications. Instead, well, you can define three points for one triangle, and then allow well order your API API to draw three lines in this way. So the minimum information for your um, GPU to draw a triangle is three vertices. So we simply define three vertices of one triangle. Here is an array. And well, we have one more square, so we have, well, we draw four, uh, we define four vertices for one square. So it's very simple. Well, maybe we can modify one vertex for one test. Well, like, so it's very simple, right? Okay, and well, for an example code, um, I defined two vertex buffer. I told you that this works like a pointer, and this gen buffer works like a new keyword, well, memory allocation keyword. Okay, and bind buffer means that you are going to use this vertex buffer from now, but, um, yeah, and GL buffer data means GL buffer data 
um, transferred CPU memory uh, data to GPU. So we defined three vertices here. So it has nine float, num float numbers, right? So nine um, times four bytes means um, 36, maybe. So this, is, uh, this, this would be 36. So this is the size of data to, to be transferred from CPU memory your, your main on your main board, board to um, graphic uh, GPU memory uh, on your graphics card. Okay, so um, and this is a pointer of your array triangle vertices. Triangle vertices is this one, and this is the size of of the data you want to transfer from CPU to GPU. Okay. And well, um, here is one more um, vertex buffer stuff um, for square. So, okay. Um, so I, well, t I changed the I I changed the vertex position. So you may find that you can animate this square by by changing. The, the numbers here. Okay. Um, okay. Um, and in some cases, in some cases, you want to um, use different data structure for um, for vertex array. Okay. So let's try with um, std vector. And GRM, okay. Okay, so I'm. Um, I want to use. I want to use std vector. Um, and maybe you can do this float. You can do this. You may. You can do this, or, or. Um, GLM vector three. So in this case, in this case, well, you may um, push back. So the first one is zero point zero, and zero point zero zero point zero. And next one, next one is 1.0, right? And 1.0, and some more. You can do this. And um, I like this one better, the previous one. GLM vector 3.000. Uh, vector 3D. Or, well, and okay, one zero zero. So you can define an array of three vertices um, using um, SCD vector and GLM vector three. The remaining problem is that there is an um, there is an error here. Okay, so this is why we didn't. This is uh, this is the this is because uh, we didn't use um, float array, um, but we used um, standard vector. So in this case, we can do this. So um. We can dot size and GLM vector three, right? And for this one, we can do this um, some pointer trick like this. 
so it so it, it's gonna it works in the same way we did before so okay and there is a do loop do while do while loop there is a do while loop so let's see the escape condition here so um, if you press um, escape key then the while loop will be broken well will, will end <coughs> and jlfw window should close um, also end this application by escaping from this while loop so this is actually this is a main loop of this application okay okay so for all frames here is a gel clear so we defined gel clear color here the white background okay so uh, this line uses gel clear color um, to to clear the background space so actually all pixels on the, on the on your window screen and gel use program use program um, you just the shaders shaders um, loaded with this program ID you mean you remember program ID up here so vertex shader and, and fragment shader okay and and in computer graphics this is this is an um, this is a new thing okay so in computer graphics or transformation like um, transformation like translation the movement of an object or rotation of an object are defined by a matrix and this matrix ID I told you that GLU integer matrix ID some ID program ID um, work IDs are uh, IDs are something like pointer to GPU memory I told you and in this case um, this is a pointer to a variable in in GPU so you get uniform location program ID MVP matrix so you can transfer 4x4 four four matrix with 16 float numbers to GPU um, using this one and there is a projection matrix um, I found that the perspective view is better for your application here and so we have one projection matrix and one view matrix here uh, well I don't want you to know the exact details of matrix multiplications and geometric transformation from, for computer graphics applications but I can explain something like this so this this is perspective means that well So um, here is your eye. Here is your eye, and there are some object or game characters and well, some some battleships or something. And you can your eye can see the object inside this domain, this angle, this angle. So um, this is it, and this is a degree number. So it's converted to radians by GLM radians okay and 4 over 3 means the um, the, the, the ratio of width and height of this screen okay so um, so this is the width and this is height so this this is the ratio 4 by 3 okay actually well your window resolution was defined I'm um, here 1024 600 and uh, okay 768 so this is 43 you got it and this is a minimum distance distance well your API will draw and this is a maximum distance <coughs> your API will draw and this is an um, look at matrix uh, generated by GLM library so this is your camera rotation and uh, camera position camera the position of your camera 
and this is the um, this is the point your camera is looking at and this is the up up upward vector of your camera but I don't want you to modify these options for this lecture well I simply well what I want you to understand is that well you you may need to um, use some matrix and vectors to program some graphics application that's all okay I'll show you how to do it and here is one more matrix model um, this mo you are going to modify um, in this lecture um, um, in this lab um, your homework for your homework you are going to modify this matrix to um, move your object on the screen so um, you may consider these are fixed and you are going to work with um, um, this one and you determine well di well the MVP matrix model view projection matrix is determined by multiplying projection matrix view matrix and model matrix and then transfer to GPU by means of um, your uniform matrix for FE the float number vector and well we allocate a memory in um, GPU by using GL get uniform location and we obtained an ID so uh, okay matrix ID here so matrix ID here and its data is transferred to um, your GPU here and then well your shader where is it yeah shader here is an uniform mat for MVP right so when your shader program is executed your shader program will receive MVP matrix by um, through this uniform um, program I um, program uh, uniform what was that um, uniform location ID so and then this MVP matrix MVP matrix came from here here and then this MVP matrix is used here to transform the vertex information from your CPU one more time. But okay, and there are several more options. And well, the most of the most of the mistakes are um, generated by this one. This three means that the size of one vertex um, element x, y, z. So sometimes you may use x, y, z, w. Then you can you need to use four. But maybe well sometimes you want to use alpha. Then it also means that you need to change this number to four. But in general, you use x, y, z for um, vertex position. And this should be identical to the format you use here to define your vertex positions here. Okay, and finally you can draw one triangle by executing this function, your draw arrays. So your vertex information is already in your GPU array, GPU memory. So you defined, um, first you defined um, the vertex information here and here in CPU and you transfer these array data to GPU um, bind buffer, yeah, GL buffer data. You transferred your vertex information from CPU to GPU here and then finally you can draw here so three means three vertices and for square for square um, we defined four vertices actually I defined I defined four verti vertices and the draw arrays um, four draws one square okay and there is a flag here, gel line loop. There are many um, more um, drawing options in, in um, graphics API. Um, I chose the simplest one. So if you use gel line loop, then well, the input should be four vertices, right? Input, the input for one square was four vertices. So gel line loop connects first vertex with the second vertex automatically 
and second with third, third with fourth, and fourth with the first one. It closes, closes the loop automatically. So it's very uh, useful if you want to draw a simple example with this one. So maybe, well, there you may try um, different option like gel lines. Well, they disappear. Um, they disappear um, because it's gonna draw three lines. Okay, gel line. Oh, okay. So if you, uh, okay. So it it's not working because the the different flag options requires different data structure. So if you want to use um, gel lines, gel li paint. Let me paint. So um, in gel lines, the the data should be the first one, second one, one line, and well, this one should be duplicated. They should be on identical um, vertices, vertex, and like this, like this, like this. So gel lines option requires more vertex data, it's, but gel line loop. Um, connect the lines automatically, so you may take use of it when you when it is um, available. And after drawing, you can disable vertex array attribute array so that you can close the memory transfer and the swap buffer. Um, actually, draws um, the image on your window. And your FW poll event. Um, should be executed to receive keyboard and mouse input. Okay, so that's why, well, well, this programmer uses, um, this example uses um, do wire instead of, of wire loop. <laughs> so this one's required for um, keyboard input. And after everything, you may free your GPU memory as you do for CPU memory, you do free um, delete uh, memory after um, everything, and you have to terminate here. Okay, so we have this one. Okay, so um, next thing you are going to learn is how to um, move these objects. How to move these objects. So um, let's make a simple example um, which rotates your object, um, um, gives your object left turn when you press left key and make a right turn when you make a right key. Okay. So um, I told you that all transformations in computer graphics can, get, can be described by a matrix here. So you can modify this matrix if you want to transform um, your object. Okay, I'll show you an example here. So fortunately, um, fortunately, um, gel, gelm library um, takes can take care of everything for you to implement it. So let's modify um, this model matrix by well, maybe translate, translate. Translate me, means some um, some directional moving like this one, this one, this one. So um, the input is a matrix, mother matrix. So and GRM vector. So it's a direction to move the, the deviation from current top current position to um, to 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 the place we want. Translate maybe upward 0.0. .0. 0 0.1, 0 0.0. Oh. Okay, so it, I think it moved, but well, we don't have origins here. So um, let me rotate it instead of translating. So, um, rotate, rotate. 
Similarly, use model. And we need an angle to rotate. So maybe we can try 30 degree. Um, but this function requires input as a radian. Radian, ra, yeah, radian. And 30 degree maybe. And the last parameter is a vector, and which means the rotational axis. Rotational axis. And let's try um, the screen device, screen direction um, to this way. So zero, zero, one point F. Okay, and press Ctrl F5. Okay, now it is rotated, right? So we, we now we know how to rotate and translate your object, but we want an animation instead of a rotated status of one, one single image. So we want an interactive animation of this um, movement. <coughs> so um, for that, well, uh, for that, we want to keep this one out of this do while loop so that we can keep the changes in this variable and the change was made here and well the change will be made continuously when the frame is updated so so it's moving it's moving and well sometimes sometimes you can you want to combine your um, the rotation is too slow, so I increase the rotation angle. So um, you want, you may want to combine your keyboard input and the rotation, right? Keyboard input, and there is a simple example line here. Get key something. Okay. Okay. So key left, maybe, and. And it this is this will gonna rotate your object um, left give give um, in counterclockwise direction when you press left key and I'll give um, gonna implant one more line right in this case you can um, use you may use deep negative negative angle or positive axis direction uh, both are gonna work. So let me test with it. So left turn, right turn. So it's working. So it's a, this is an interactive um, application. So yeah. it's good. And next, next thing we want to do is um, is rotating these two objects. Um, um, around the center of this triangle, so each moving well, each moving center is is here in this in this case. But we sometimes we want to rotate this one by itself here. Okay, so in this case, you can trans translate your object to the origin, and then rotate, and then let it back to the position you want. Well. So, um, but at first we you need to define the center of your object. Center. So, GLM vector, vec3, try center, and draw. So, um, the geometric center is, can be, geometric center of a triangle can be calculated by taking the average of these positions. So, um, for i from the first vertex to triangles size center i Okay, so we can find the 
geometric center of triangle in an easy way here. Oh. Okay, let me compile. Okay, let's go back to the model matrix part here. Yeah, here. So let me modify it. So um So this is the rotation about the origin <coughs> and I want to implement rotation about the um, center of the triangle. So I told you that well we need to translate first GLM translate um, minus tri center and and rotate here. Uh, yeah, rotate, rotate, and translate it back to the original position. Minus tri center, and translate plus tri center. And this one should be like this. Is it working? Um, I think we need one more, we need to include one more header. Um, in rather than this one. Let me check my GitHub repository. Um, here. There are too many. Um, <laughs> car driving box, collision car. Um, here. Um, GRM GTX transform dot HPP. Okay, you need to include this header file. So it's working now. So let me tr try. Up, ah, what's wrong? It's weird. Triangle size. Hi. Oh, okay. There was a bug here. Type here. Okay. So I press the left key. Oh. What's wrong? Is the center correct? Center triangle vertices from um, 0, 1, 2 divided by 3. Actually, this one should be, this should be like this. Okay, so this one's gonna be correct. But where is the matrix part? Okay, I forgot multiplying this one at the end of this line. Okay, like this. Okay, let me try one more time here. So, I'll, I press left key. Oh, what? It's weird. Um, translate minus negative translation. Okay, um, let me see the correct answer one more time. Rotate. Okay, I've, I need this one. Well, I use an identity matrix here because I'm multiplying mother, current ma mother matrix here so, so that the transformation can be accumulated. Okay, so 
it's rotating about the center of the triangle I think and if I press the right key, right key, right turn, then it's gonna rotate about um, the origin. It's different. So left for left turn, right turn. So it's interesting, right? Okay. And I'm gonna use this kind, this type of rotation for right turn as well. In this case, you need to modify the rotation axis this way. So we can do this. Okay. And 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 um and well, we want to we want to move this one um like a car. So we can we we would like to move this this one to upward and downward. Forward, backward. So let's try it. So um, let's implement on um, left, right, up, right, up, up key. And there are uh, well, let's test first with this one. So um. Um, translate GLM vector 3 0 1 0.0f 1.0f 1.1f here okay so oh it's too fast it's too fast so let me try with smaller number 0 0.01 maybe it's moving too fast It moved only once. I'm not. Okay, yeah, I've, I already. Uh, I one more time forgot to multiply this one here. Okay, so so that, well, the the reason why the object did not um, move forward is that the transformation was not accumulated without this multiplication. Okay, so I can move it, but well. I told you that we are going to make a car. So, well, you can you you would like to dr drive a car. With a car, you may want to rotate this one and move forward, but it's not moving forward. It's going upward instead of well, well, it's ignoring the rotation of your car. <laughs> so, let's correct this one. Okay? So, Let's define. Let's do define the direction of your car. Um, okay, so JLM vector three direction of your car is the initial direction was upward one zero point one f one. Okay, and well, the translation means that. Um, you can move to this direction instead of a fixed direction. Okay, so it's gonna work. Well, it's moving correctly, but it's not moving. It's not rotating correctly. So, if you can rotate your forward direction by rotating that direction vector when you rotate this object. Okay. So we are rotating here and here. So you can rotate rotate direction vector and rotate direction vector here. So um I have an rotate K 
your not your object driving self driving car well, turn left stop and You can you can define your turning speed, turning coefficient, const float drop 1.0 maybe and replace it here. <laughs> right and this direction. direction direction direction. So this allows you to rotate your direction vector as well when you rotate the um, object okay so it's working correctly but did you see it did you miss it no okay i rotate the object and press over up key and then it's going forward like a car 